The Ashanaka are one of South America's largest indigenous groups. Their homeland covers a vast region from northwestern Brazil to the watersheds of the Peruvian Andes. This place is sacred to us culturally as Ashanika. We have creation roots here. This is the place where all indigenous Amazon people first appeared. The N.A. River Valley is one of the last remaining intact rainforests in the Amazon. The Ashanaka, like Ruth, depend on the land for their survival. In 2010, the governments of Brazil and Peru signed an energy agreement for hydroelectric dams in the Amazon without consulting the indigenous people. The first stage was five hydroelectric dams in the jungle. If a dam was built in Paquitzapango Canyon, we would be flooded out, and seven to 8,000 Ashanika would be completely displaced. The environment would be completely destroyed. In the 1980s, Ruth's family and thousands of other Ashanika fled for their lives during Peru's brutal civil war. Thousands of others were killed. Amidst the social violence that occurred, the government abandoned us, and my father was killed. Longing to reconnect with her culture, Ruth returned as a young adult and joined CARE, an Ashanaka rights organization. At age 27, she was elected as CARE's first female president, determined that her people would never be forced off their land again. We visited every community, informing the people about the threats posed by the hydroelectric dam. We produced a computer simulation showing the effects the dam would have on our lives. My anger motivated me to defend my people. Our communities are legally entitled to prior and informed consent by the government before any concessions are granted. If the government has given us these legal rights, then it's up to us to apply the law. Ruth united the Ashanaka in a region-wide assembly, demanding the government take back the concession. As a result, the Paquitzapango Dam was stopped. Ruth Buendia's leadership led to the rights of the Ashaninka people being recognized. The projects that were threatening their habitat have been substantially revised to avoid further damage to her community. Ruth did not let up. Her protest at the Inter-American Commission on Human Rights put pressure on the Peruvian Ministry of Energy. Her advocacy paid off when a second dam was stopped. When we won, I cried and I laughed. Then I got worried, thinking, they gave up. Maybe now they'll kill me. They're a huge company. Looking ahead, Ruth and Kare are developing sustainable agriculture projects for the Ishanaka, so they can remain tied to the land that is their spiritual home. Kare always has to be on the lookout, like an eagle carefully watching what the government is doing. The hydroelectric dam project was our wake-up call. For outstanding environmental achievement in South and Central America, the 2014 Goldman Environmental Prize is awarded to Ruth Buendia, N.A. River, Peru.